morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you, second day of May, post FOMC. Got a neat little 50 point move there yesterday uh, in a lot of currency pairs, which seems like a big deal. Uh, and it is a big deal uh, in this type of vol scenario. So we'll be thankful for grabbing some pennies there. Today, we are looking to decide whether this is going to continue. The fund starts with retail sales in Germany, um, one hour's time. Here's Euro, 16 point move overnight, we're on the highs, 93 the low. So we haven't confirmed yesterday's down move yet, confirmation will be down through 87. So. Hold your horses a little bit here. Um, looks like a turn bar. It smells like a turn bar. The story says turn bar. Uh, the U.S. rates market is totally mispriced, it looks like. Uh, and with higher rates and bad euro data, euro should go lower. This combined with the fact that everyone who sold at 11180 uh, and looking for 110 the figure many 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 of those guys would have had to have stopped um, you know so they are they're 80 points out of court yesterday in a low vol time you can't really leave 100 200 point stops when vol is uh, below 10 so you would expect them all to have stopped between 20 50 and then the last guys got got clicked out yesterday uh, as we traded up to 65 so the positioning should be cleaner which should allow things to go left if and that's a big if if the manufacturing PMIs get smashed retail sales is lower um, so we're watching this very very closely in the U.S., we do have the um, Challenger job cuts, which will just add to some data um, for non-farms. Let's see what else we have. Non-farms, which are tomorrow. Um, yeah, that's it. Just Challenger unemployment claims which will be watched because they moved uh, violently last week uh, expecting 220 and then of course we have uh, loads of Fed speakers we've got Clarita Williams Bauman and Bullard uh, speaking this evening actually no that's Friday pardon me pardon me pardon me we do not have Fed speakers today we've got building approvals in Australia late tonight so we don't have much US data our focus is going to be on this European data here. Uh, let's take a look at the charts that are meaningful here. Euro yen, we printed this little mini double top here yesterday. Um, up at 21. We sagged through 96. Down to 68 last night. But now we've retraced. Here's the 200 hour here at 09. This looks troubling above uh, 125. 21. Trading at 04 now. Um, let's just see how we go today. If you look on the dailies, nothing great, right? Kind of reminds me of the NASDAQ dailies. We do not want this thing to get back, say, above 25. And this obviously, this is kind of a pivoty area here. 125.30, we all remember we were selling through there on the way down. So. 25.30 is your cut zone. Uh, more importantly, your I'm going to smash this zone is 124.70. So 124.70 confirms. So conservative traders uh, like ourselves, we will get short when we are sure 124.70 is going to trade or we're just going to wait for 124.70. A lot of this will have to be dependent on the PMI releases and retail sales. Let's look at dollar Swiss. 
We had a feeling this was wrong, dollar Swiss. We tried to get short at 30 before FOMC, um, no dice. But then during the speech, when it looked obvious that he had shifted to neutral or even mildly hawkish, I would say neutral, uh, we did grab some dollars and dollar Swiss and an Aussie. Not a lot, and we didn't. We didn't save the rainforest yesterday with PL, but black day and uh, no pain. We don't think this is going to get back below 101.50 today, so we want to sort of add or restart dollar Swiss shorts. Again, though, if your conservative confirmation is above 101.98, so we'll call it 102 the figure. Dollar Swiss longs, uh, we do like today. All of this hawkishness and sort of negativity in the equity markets uh, make us happily short Aussie again. It's kind of the same bar as Dollar Swiss. This is a fade up towards 30. So we like Aussie lower today. Uh, we're going to keep an eye on what the equity markets are doing, obviously what Kiwi and CAD is doing, but you have to be a little bit careful here because it's all kind of one trade, right? Short Euro, short Aussie, long dollar Swiss. These the correlations on these are extremely high, so you know, watch your risk. Make sure you have a, an idea on your your total global P and L if you're gonna put all of these on, or um, just pick your poison, whichever one you're most comfortable with. Uh, ride that horse out into the sunset. Let's look at crude. Um, 62.50 is just huge now. Uh, we, we we got down to 62.78. If you look at this in the longer term, this whole area 62.50 from over here in April, and we retested it here, went back higher lower and then of course we have the 200 day at 61 bucks I'm just guessing if we get down through 6250 again and close below it this low here was 6228 um, this will drop very very quickly we had a big build on the numbers yesterday typical oil or typical privateer with oil we don't really understand the dynamics of uh, supply and demand and what's true and what's not true and who's lying uh, we do feel like there's a whole lot of lying going on uh, within the oil market so we just trade price with oil um, so for us a daily close below 6250 will lend credibility to the overall bigger turn that we wrote about last night copper getting smoked uh, and then stocks bearish engulfing here. That's a uh, pretty serious bar. Playing around with our trend line here. The low last night was 15. Um, like we talked about, we're sellers between 25 and 40, so we are short now. And we will just see how this thing goes. My instincts say sell high ones because it's never straightforward. Uh, and anyone who sold 23s below 20 who sold 16s a lot of these guys are going to stop at 25 26 28 uh, and even the guys yesterday who sold through the bearish engulfing 26 are going to leave 36 stops or even 40 stops um, so we're conservative shorts here it's almost like a tactical short we're not pushing our chips into the tape in you know, pushing our chips to the front of the table yet, um, but we are tactically short and getting ready to push our chips to the front of the table. What we need now is the full Monty story, and we have kind of, I would say, 50% of it, um, and 50% is not enough to take a big swing. You got to wait till it's perfect. One of the reasons it's not quite perfect is NASDAQ. We want NASDAQ below 77.40. Um, just wait, right? I mean, uh, we got two days and we got non farms tomorrow. 
you just want to be you want to be keyed up you want to be rested up and you want to be like a laser in times like this and if the story doesn't come together you don't trade it you don't force this but if the story does come together you need to have your shit together uh, and your energy and emotional energy to take a big swing at this anyway sermon over on uh, the trading I'm mainly just talking to myself anyway so that is what it is uh, Aussie yen little uh, proxy here for risk off hasn't really done much we do expect this probably to head lower um, 78 the figure is important and sterling yen I believe we've got BOE today yeah sterling yen has shifted here um, turn bar yesterday BOE today can't believe they're gonna they, there's no possible way they could be hawkish um, but we don't have a real great feel for what the hell's going on sterling yen could not clear this 200 day one thing for sure if they are hawkish there's going to be stops here above uh, 145.77 now this is the four hour hold on here's the here's the daily I don't know sterling yen the only the reason I pulled up the sterling yen is 143.80 it's very very far um, so just ignore me I'm not going to give any uh, any clue on what BOE is going to do because um, I really just don't know and the whole the whole complex the inflation and what's going on over there with Brexit is, is too too difficult to create a story on so but just be be advised uh, sterling should move a bit today uh, with the BOE anything else out there not really our focus is basically euro euro yen and stocks um, we're waiting for these numbers to come out I wish you all a very very profitable day and I will talk to you tomorrow.